Hello, everybody, and welcome to the cloud tutorial. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some clouds. So there are multiple ways of doing this. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start showing you a couple of ways that I know how to do. There are probably multiple ways that I don't know of that you could do, but I'm just going to show you what I know how. All right, so first way is pretty simple. I'm going to get my uh, world edit shovel. You do need world edit for this. Um, you could do this by hand. It would just take longer. And I'll show you the way to do it by hand, which is just, it's a little bit more uh, extensive. All right, so first, we're just gonna get our shovel, new mask, zero, just like we would for leaves on a tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and do up one here, just so I have my uh, reference point. And now I'm going to get some colors that I want. So. I'm gonna keep my white stained glass because I want to use that, and I'm basically just gonna get color like blocks that I think would look good in a uh, cloud. I don't want too many solid blocks because clouds aren't necessarily all solid, but I do want a couple because you can't see through clouds either unless it's super bright. So I uh, my go-to are usually white stained glass and maybe some darker stained glass, and then uh, what is it? Uh, webs, cobwebs. And then these I use as, these two here, I use as um, shadowing. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and make a sphere and we're gonna use 950, 957, and 30. So VR sphere 950, comma, uh, 95, what was it? Crap, I just forgot what it was. Uh, seven and then nine, five, or 30. Okay, and what I'm gonna make and obviously I want some air in there, so I'm gonna make about 5% for all these. So five, 10, 15, and then the rest, so 85%, zero. And now I'm gonna make that about five, brush size. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, I might not want, maybe I should use the uh, less dark wool, which would be, s or less dark. Actually, that is the less dark. I think I'm gonna get rid of the, the darker um, and use that as a shadowing. So let's do that. Okay, let's see. So I want to get rid of the this one. And let's go ahead and make this one, actually, let's see, let's make this one uh, snow block, so 80. So we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna make this 80. Okay, and now this should look way more white. Yep, there we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and click around and I'm gonna make kind of a shape that I want. I'm gonna make this one kind of round, whoops. Uh, just for cloud's sake. And then maybe I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna do, change the percentage to about 2.5 for each of these instead of the 5% so that it's less abundant. And then I'll make this Let's see, two, four, six, seven point five. So we need ninety two point five, and there we go. And now I'm gonna make this brush size about four, so that I can make smaller ones. And I'm just gonna kind of make like a, a little thing coming off of there. Okay, and that should do the trick. I'm gonna make this really small. Maybe like a two size brush, and I'm just gonna make some like points coming off of it. Maybe like a point over here, and maybe like a point. And I just don't want to make this blend in, so I don't want to just make it random. And this is exactly how I made the clouds for my uh, challenge build that I streamed on Twitch, actually. So I did this, okay. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the shadowing. So I'm gonna pick two blocks. I think I'm gonna leave the web because I like the web look. And I think I'm just gonna do this and this. So I'm gonna mask those two blocks. Mask 80 and 95. Okay, now we're gonna make the sphere, this gray stained glass and wool. Let's do uh, 35.8 and 95.7. 35, 8, 95, 7. Okay, 
And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a, oops, make this brush size three. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to shade. So maybe like under these parts, a little bit need a little shading. And under this part, I don't want to click too much because I accidentally made it mask uh, glass, which means it'll be all wool if I click too much. Like it'll make that wool. Yeah. Okay, and I don't want to put too much shading either just because it wouldn't look very good if I put too much. You just want to do like maybe the under part, one side of it, the side that the sun's not going to hit. If you know where your sun's going to be in your render or anything else, do the shading on the other side. I mean, it makes pretty makes sense to do that. And then all you got to do, once you're done doing that, you have a cloud. There you go. And there's also other ways of doing this. So you can make it more solid if you want. And when I make it more solid, I would pick um, just two blocks that you want. So let's do this, snow and um, 950. So mask zero again, VR sphere, uh, oops, 80 and 950. And we're gonna make this 100%. And I think I'm gonna make the glass a little bit more abundant. So we're gonna do Let's do 70% of glass and then the 30% the snow. Whoops. 30%. Okay. And we don't need any uh, air. We could put maybe like 2% air just so it has like a little bit of gaps, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So I'm going to make this brush size four. I need to have my reference points up one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is basically just make my shape. This is pretty much what you would do with, and then we're going to smooth it out with, uh, you don't even have to smooth it out actually, but if you don't smooth it out, you get spheres unless you do it just right. So I would recommend smoothing it out and then changing maybe some of the percentages. So let's assume I've smoothed it out. Um, I would use voxel because I don't know how to smooth with world edit. So let's just pretend I smoothed it out and to smooth it out, I would just get my wand or my arrow and go over it with uh, the BB. just so you know. Okay, let's pretend I did that for the sake of time. So post one, I'm going to change some of the percentages so that it looks a little bit more cloudy than uh, glass and where it is right now. So let's replace 80 with 90% 950 and then because I think I didn't do enough glass and then let's do 30 or 10 percent or no five percent 30 sorry i'm going to change these a little bit actually i don't like that number so 80 10 and 10 percent so that makes it way more see-through as you can see and that might be a little bit too more too much see-throughness so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna punch into this and I'm just gonna do maybe like right here slash slash sphere let's do uh, 957 which is the lighter gray and let's do 9515 as well which is the darker gray and I'm gonna make this sphere about four now top as you see I put like a dark spot and what I'm going to do, so that doesn't look just like a random sphere in there, is I'm going to go up over here and do the same thing. And it should, whoops, oops, not the right command. So, yeah. And we go up here, and we're going to do the sphere again. And this will be in it, top. Okay. So now it has a big dark spot in it. Make a day again. And you could keep doing that until it looks good. Um, that's just showing you what I would do. And then maybe I would add some different colors to the darker so that it looks a little less uh, random in there. And that's pretty much all I, would, all I do to make a cloud. Uh, I hope you guys like this. Um, if you guys have any other ways that are better than what I did, feel free to comment them below and I'll take a look at them. But for now, this is what I do. When I make clouds, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. See ya.